Hey, um, my name is Kasimwani, and in this video, I'd like to talk about the um, the expectation, the Bellman expectation equation, um, sort of the derivation of it, uh, but most importantly, uh, the intuition um, behind this. Uh, I remember when I started learning reinforcement learning, it, it was a little bit confusing, so I really hope that this video sort of explains it uh, in a bit more intuitive fashion. Um, but prior to this, sort of the prereq is that you understand um, the setting of the Markov, Markov decision processes, MDPs, and understand it. Um, basically, you know, the, intu the intuition kind is that the, 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 um, the model um, can be mapped. Uh, essentially, the future depends on the present and not the past. It's a very finite sort of model where um, it's a naive setting. And the key, you know, components of any MDP, as stated over here, um, and you know, the, the 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 key components are, you know, the set of states, the action, the reward function, the the transition probability function, and the discounted rate gamma, uh, right? And and since you want your model to converge, you want your gamma to be between zero to one, since this would be an exponentially weighted function, right? Um, or, or you know, or, or if you if you come from deep learning, this would be the um, expect the rolling weighted sum, or you know, so if you come from stats as well. So those are the uh, sort of the the main um, I would say the very preliminary uh, I terminology that you should be aware of, and obviously MDPs and policy functions and, and all of that stuff. So yeah. Um, Without further ado, um, let's get into sort of the derivation of the Bellman expectation equation. Um, I'll just switch screens so you can uh, see it clearer, clearer. Right, so let's get back to the video. Um, and um, essentially, let's, let's derive this uh, before even mentioning anything, before you know, going into the depth of the mathematical derivation. So, the idea is um, the idea behind you know the Bellman expectation equation comes from this sort of setting where let's say you have this uh, this agent where you're trying to sort of determine the value of a certain state. And this value can be determined by the immediate reward from the transition from the current state to the next state, plus uh, the sort of discounted value of the state that follows. So what I mean by that is, let's consider this heuristic or this example where, you know, you are playing a game of chess, and let's say you move your knight over here. You know, knight is at g1, and you move it to I don't know, let's say f3. So let's say this is your first move, you know, white starts, you move at um, knight, knight f3, right? And the, 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 you know, how the brain works or, or just how, you know, basic strategy game theory works is that this move, you know, initially doesn't have a lot of um, predetermined setting in the sense that you don't really know if it's a good move early on. Uh, and that is sort of the Markovian decision setting where, you know, at this point in time, it only depends on the current value, not the previous value, even though, let's say, you, the, the current state is greater than one. So in that sense, um, you know, um, you're basing off this move based on the current state only. But as the game progresses, you're basing off each and every move based on the potential of the reward that that move will give you, plus some sort of discounted reward of the moves that follow. So what I mean by that is, let's say, you know, uh, white starts and they go to uh, knight f3, and then you have, you know, black move and goes to pawn, uh, pawn e5, right? And 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 in this case, um, so now it's, it's White's turn. So let's say you know White can easily take take away this pawn. So White would capture Knight. Knight would capture um, uh, the pawn at e5, right? And so this is based on the idea that the move that you take from here to here. Uh, your move number two is based on the immediate reward 
the value of this move, right, from, um, let's say this is um, the return of uh, this move and return at t plus one. And so the value, right, the value behind this particular move, uh, given this specific state uh, with a specific policy, which is basically mapping from a state to an action, is dependent upon um, the immediate reward you would get from going from here to here. And let's say in this case, the immediate reward is, you know, you um, white captures um, pawn at e5, right? And uh, so it's based on the, the reward you get from this move specifically, plus the future outcome, the value of this state uh, of the game that follows. And, and this is sort of the idea behind um, the Bellman expectation equation, which is, you know, based on this sort of state value function, uh, which basically states that the value of any state, so let me write it down. So the value of any state equals the immediate reward RT plus the discounted um, value of the state that follows. Now, it's very, very obvious to understand intuitively what this means, which is, you know, the value of current state is not just dependent upon the immediate reward, which is based on the next state, but the cumulative, um, you know, uh, the, the summation of all the next states that, that follow, right? And this, you know, you could basically, so this is sort of the value, um, you know, of state S with the specific policy, which is based on uh, sort of the, um, the expected uh, the expectation um, of the reward uh, the immediate reward plus you know a discounted so you know we're using the the parameter gamma um, of the value of the state that follows and the assumption is based given that the current state is s uh, that obeys the policy pi, right? So this is sort of the 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 Bellman expectation equation, and if you if you notice it, um, this is sort of a recursive uh, function where the 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 value for any state is dependent upon uh, not just the next state but also uh, all the other states that follow. So you could basically have a recursive approach towards finding the value of any state. And the reason you use gamma is because you wanna make sure that uh, state one um, has this, pre this, this the value that you hold on state number one is more valuable um, given the current configuration of state S than the uh, value that you would hold on state 21, right? So what, what this means is that, you know, let's say in, in, in just basic sort of game theory, um, you know, alpha, beta, pruning, min, mat, min, max, you, what you would do is, or, or just, you know, breadth per search, uh, you would take the current configuration of this, of the chessboard, the state, and then, you know, you would have these, these, um, uh, these sort of, uh, the um, alternatives, alternative moves, and then, you know, basically, do the pruning and see what moves follow and what could the combination be and the overall or the overall reward um, signal by these values. So the reward is always um, a discrete 
sorry, uh, is a number, um, you know, uh, it could be a discrete or continuous depending upon, uh, I guess, yeah, yeah, so it's just a, you know, a quantity um, um, itself. And sort of based on today, so as of today, um, I guess last week there was a paper uh, that I read, uh, which was about um, where instead of um, in reinforcement learning, sorry, this is just a quick, just just a tangent, where um, instead of just re, instead of just having the reward function as a certain you know unit, you could display it as a sort of hash map where you have this dictionary of the you know reward at every single configuration such that the value uh, of your mapping or the value of your learning algorithm is now determined at the end but also at its intermediate steps such that you have a more thorough understanding and i guess it was based on the sort of um dopamine uh dopamine reinforcement learning or something to do with that um i can you know share the link in the description for more information on that and um, so anyways, uh, sorry about that, you know, that digression. And the idea is that the value, you know, as I said, you know, at least 10 times now, that the value uh, can be determined by the meter reward plus the sort of discounted value that, of that state that follows. This is based on this uh, recursive approach. And you can think about it as sort of this multi-layer perceptron, which is now, you know, a very simple neural network, a deep neural network where, you could basically run run it through to see the next um, uh, sort of the next possible configurations based on the current state and have the output instead of you know an n unit uh, output layer you would have just one unit which would determine uh, sort of the value so it would be a regression unit which would determine you know uh, the reward function right. Uh, and now let's go into the meat of this this video, which is about the the derivation of the Bellman equation described over here. So if we state our um, state value function, uh, which is based on, let me just write it down first. So what this, you know, this is our um, state value function. And basically the state value function for a specific policy pi uh, measures uh, sort of the degree uh, of the expected return if the agent starts in a specific state S using that specific policy. Right, and that is sort of the idea behind the state value function, uh, which is you know just to reiterate um, the measure of the value of a state s under a policy pi as the yield of the expected return um, if the agent starts in that specific state with that given policy. Right, and this is the initial state. I guess you could write it as s not to denote initial state. And this is, you know, for all states. And, um, you know, based on this idea, we could expand this to meet the criteria of the definition of uh, the value, uh, the value uh, policy function, or, or just the value of any state um, through the through this um, uh, the value expectation function. Right. So once again, you know, the value, um, the, the value um, given a specific, uh, the, the, the value of any state S equals the, uh, the, expect, the expected value of the immediate reward 
plus the discounted value of the state that follows um, if the agent is in a specific state um, as uh, the initial state, which uses this policy pi uh, to choose its actions uh, for all time steps t, you know. And just, you know, stats 101, we could, we could expand this uh, such, a, such that uh, since, and note that, you know, both of these are random variables. This is our constant, like a predetermined constant. You could do hyperparameter tuning to find out the best value. But since you want your model to converge, you would have it between zero to one. Um, the closer to, the, the, the higher uh, gamma is to one, the, uh, the more preface is given on latter uh, states, the the closer it is to zero, the more value, the more reward, this kind of reward is given to the initial states, right? Um, because you know it's it's exponentially weighted. So you know let's rewrite this as. Right, so you know it's just that it's it's uh, this is because um, expectation of x plus y is x expectation of x plus y, given that they're both random variables, discrete random variables, right? And um, so we can expand this further. Um, Using the definition of um, uh, expectations, um, that is, um, let me just write it down over here. Right, and so the expectation is basically the uh, the the weight times the probability for that specific uh, value, the ar the the argument itself, right? And um, you know, expanding this based on this notation or this sort of um, uh, expansion is equal to the summation of the actions um, in a specific in, in a set of uh, action states of um, of, um, of 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 the state um, given you know a policy pi um, of the current uh, state s and um, action a based on these values um, times the summation uh, of the transition probabilities. Um, let's say SS bar prime uh, A, and this is you know summation over um, S prime, right? And this you know this whole thing, this whole spiel over here, is 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 for this only. And what this means is that uh, what this means is that the expectation uh, for um, a specific reward to get the immediate reward given the current state is based on the policy that you're in of the current policy of the current state and the the mapping of that state through the policy which will lead you to an action times the probability the cumulative probability of the transition from state s to s prime times the reward you would get from s to s prime of that action itself right and uh, this plus um, this whole thing over here again. 
And instead of rewriting this whole thing, we could, you know, do it all in one step such that um, it looks something like, uh, um, And this is a notation for the transition probability as prime um, the current reward uh, with the current given the current state in action uh, times r plus gamma um, v pi s prime the next state. So if you notice from sort of the notation that I used, um, uh, let me just write it down so that's clear. Let's use a magic ink. Yay. Um, S prime equals S of T plus one. Uh, just, you know, it's different notation based on uh, sort of the source, um, based on, you know, it's, they're both conventionally appropriate. Um, and this sort of times um, R plus gamma V pi S prime. Right, and if you think about it, you know, this is very intuitive to understand, which is basically just this, right? Um, so you have the uh, current policy uh, with the initial conditions of, um, given the conditions of A and S, uh, the action in the, in, the, in the state with a specific policy, which is what policy means. You know, policy is the sort of mapping from uh, the space to an action set of states to set of actions. And you know you have the stochastic uh, policy or, or, or deterministic policies, but uh, that's sort of the idea. And it's based on this current policy, which is our weight times the probability of that policy, which is based on the next state, given, that, uh, given the current states, um, times the reward uh, of the current reward that you get, the immediate reward, um, plus the um, sort of the next iteration of it, which is based on S prime. And you know, when, you, when you write it, or write this out, this sort of turns into, um, if, if you do like a recursive, uh, have a recursive approach to it, you would get something like the expectation of T plus one, uh, plus gamma, well, my gammas are tremendously atrocious, as prime, um, right? And this, you know, is equal to um, sort of the summation of gammas um, of expectation of R T plus one plus, you know, V of S prime or V of S. Um, right, and this is what it means. And you'd start off from the next the intermediate value. And that is exactly what this, you know, this whole thing means. Right, um, this is just an aside. So, you know, if we simplify it further, um, we can see that the derivation leads us to the result that the summation as a whole of the next state from a set of all possible states uh, with the reward from a set of all rewards and actions from a set of all action given the current states uh, times or this whole summation of a policy based on the current action and state times, so this is our weight, times the probability, uh, transition probability function of the intermediate or the next state and the reward uh, based on the given, given the current states times um, the reward plus the intermediate, the next value function. Uh, 
right? And this whole thing is sort of the idea or the intuition behind the um, Bellman expectation equation, uh, which once simplified yields to um, the following. Yeah, I could have written as this is S prime, they're both the same. So um, this is sort of the idea behind um, the Bellman um, um, expectation equation. Right. Um, yeah. Um, so, um, in in brief, um, what this video did, just to conclude, was um, let's see, we talked about um, sort of MDPs for a very very brief time, uh, and then we directly jumped into practical examples of uh, applications of RL and where you would use this idea of MDPs and and uh, the adversarial search or breadth or you know depth first breadth first uh, pruning and all those to give this motivate us um, on why we need to sort of understand the value that you take of the current of this value of any state is de determined is dependent upon the immediate return uh, reward plus sort of this cumulative sum of the discounted value of the uh, next uh, you know value the next state value of the next state right and that's sort of the idea behind um, the Bellman expectation e equations um, so you have one for Bellman um, I believe um, uh, one is for um, the 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 state value function, which is what we talked about, and then the other is for action value function, which is very similar, uh, but just has a little bit different notation. So that was it for for this video. Really hope you understood uh, or sort of came the intuition behind it. Um, um, if you're just more confused, um, I I guess. You know, you can watch more videos on it, but I really hope that uh, it sort of made more sense. And if so, you know, cool, cool beans. Peace.